uh, we did a, a survey in 2006 is about the incidence is in, in, in every 1000 uh, cases is about 18. And then in 2012, 2016, there's one study showed that it's about now 28 uh, uh, point 39. So in Qatar, we, it, it, when you give a message, it's just a message to the, the, the kids, sometimes it's very difficult to accept that message. So we create a healthy park games. Uh, so this games is, uh, uh, we, we create two dolls, uh, Salem and Sarah, and families living with type diabetes can also uh, participate in that one. So the, bar, the, the purpose of these games Initial education for type 1 diabetes mellitus is important to prevent late complication. However, type 1 children with diabetes have not appreciated traditional learning methods since they rarely contain the elements of fun and uh, interactivity. So, so we, with this study, we developed and implemented and evaluate the edu, we create edu, edutainment tool for the children with type one. So the, the method that we, we did, so we have three games, the healthy bark, the slides, and the ledgers. And, and, and one card game matchup, the game we diagnosed to provide essential information about food, exercise, and insulin. A total of about 46 testers that means children evaluated the degree of entertainment, usability, and clinical usefulness of the games. So the material and the methods that we use it, the game, uh, just give you before, when I uh, we look to the research and the literature research about the games using for the education of children, there is maybe three or four, one in, in Japan, another in the United States. And most of them is uh, focusing on the, uh, on the online games uh, or electronic, electronic games. There's no physical games that give the children to play with. So the game health work was launched by Qatar Dhabi Association, Qatar Foundation to support children and families in this based on the, in the blush company Salem, company Salem and, and, and Sarah, who have been accompany the games provide education and awarenesses of this various lifestyle children, uh, changes children and their families uh, and uh, encourage them to embrace it. So the health bar, this game could be played by two uh, uh, to six players. Salem and Sarah and their friends are having a race to teach the end of the path, the starting block on the board, and also we 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 put a, a, a big board, a wooden book board, so they can they can play it. Uh, not only in the small one and the big one. So when that we use it in our camp, the players agree on the one to throw the dice first. Before the player makes a move, she picks a card from the pile and and hand this to the player opposite to him to to ask him hard the question on the card. If she answered the correctly, the correct answer is written on the bottom of the card. The player gets to move the number of the steps that was indicated on the dice. If the answer is not right, she stays in the same spot until his or her next turn. The player who asks the question will share the correct answer with the rest of the group then the winner is person who reached the end of this, uh, the end first. So this is the three games. This is why we call it the the uh, the, the, the the cards with the with with the uh, the games. So then the other one that I said it, slice and letters. This is very famous one that we use. We call a thorban was sulam, which is the same one. So 
The game could be played by two or four groups, and the person starts with the rolling the dice. The player takes her marker and moves the number of the step down to the dice. If you get, for example, he threw the dice, he get four, so he will start one, two, three, four. If the blast had on a slide that needs to move towards the lower block, block if last land on a ladder that have to go upwards to higher block. The slides are linked to unhealthy behavior for people with type 1 diabetes. For example, he put it and he'll go to the number five where that says that you are not checking your blood glucose, so you have to go back. From that one, there will be uh, there will be uh, the snakes will get him down to the to the first step. Slides are linked to the unhealthy behavior for people with type one diabetes, children, and lasers show healthy behaviors. If example, he he, he threw the slides, the, uh, the the dice, and he get five, and then he move where he can go to the there's a laser where he that's mean. Uh, for example, he he eat healthy food. So he will climb that ladder up to the, the, number, the, the number that he shows in the slide. Uh, then the matchup, this game is this child knowledge of food groups and food that affects blood sugar. It contains about 80 cards, 64 food cards, and 60 group of change the cards. So there is, there is a color in that card. So milk, dairy products, and, and, uh, and uh, uh, alternatives is, is the blue. Fruit is, 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 is uh, red. Vegetable is green. Fish, poultry, meat, and, and it's, it's, uh, 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 it's pink. No, it's not pink. Uh, legume is, uh, is, is, is uh, pink is blue, and the fat is, uh, uh, is, is yellow. Uh, cereal and, uh, and starchy vegetable is pink. If the same group change card includes eight cards that allow the player to change to one specific food group and other eight that give the option to choose among four different food groups, some of the food cards have a small glucometers on the right of the corner. So the glucometer indicates that his food affects his blood uh, sugar. Uh, this game, the healthy backhand game, could be played by 20 to 4 players. One of the players is chosen to be the, the dealer. The dealer gives each place seven cards, passing down so you can uh, uh, so you cannot see the other player's card. The remaining cards will be placed on the central pile and then uh, also face down. The dealer turns over the top and card of the pile and places in the discard pile. Uh, pile. The first place, uh, player, the youngest of the table, looks to at his or her cards and see what whether he or she has a card that belongs to the same food group that they discard. So, if she does not have a matching card. She can either use a group change card, she would change the card, and, and can pick up a card from the central pile. Then the turn moves to the next player. The player who has used up all his or her cards first is the winner. That means she give a good answers. All this, uh, actually, all these games is supervised by our one of our health educator to show him exactly how they they play. This is the, the healthy card, Mark. We give every every kid who is a participate in our camp, the boys camp. I remember there is there is one uh, uh, kids from from Egypt. They came to our participate in our and uh, uh, in our camp. We give him that. But so let me show you. So it's.
So in our study, you know, to evaluate that game to the, to the kids, we asked him about five questions. How having fun with this game, and then ask him, want to play the game again? The game is too long. Recommended the game to the diabetes friend. Uh, recommended the game to non-diabetes friends. And then we give him the answer, strongly agree, agree, uh, somewhat disagree or strongly agree. And then that's what get we result from that entertainment uh, the questions. And this is what we get it from the, this is the percentage. And most of them, they, they, are, they, 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 they strongly agree. It's about uh, the question 75% and then 20 and 58 and 61. And this is just to give the, gra the uh, diagram of that. Uh, the usability also we asked them. So they said very easy to use. And then this is the interested for education approach. Uh, we get very good result for that. Strongly agree about 70%. The evaluation generally most of all that the game is our fun. Actually, that's fun. And when the two play again, the question number two. Okay, usability is both of them. They are very recognized the games and the handling of the games was strongly forward and intuitive. The clinical usefulness about 70% showed interested in an approach of this healthcare. About 76 strongly agreed. Uh, the results, uh, this is the results about this, uh, what we get it. And then this is the discussions about the study. Uh, uh, we have done this three different. The evaluation showed that these games provide a fun entertainment with learning all these games are easy to use initiative. In our conclusion that our games were accepted to be an interesting edutainment tool for type one diabetes with diabetes who need initial education. This is the, the pictures of the, our kids. Thank you very much for Thank your listening. You.